Uh, hello, hello, everybody. Today we are doing another Starkfest, and we're doing Deep Blue Sea because the movie we were originally going to do is no longer on streaming service. So, yeah, this is kind of a last minute thing. Um, I watched this movie when it came out, and mind you, when it first came out, I was like, oh, Samuel Jackson's in it. Maybe it'll be good. And no. I like got I said, this movie like, on TV a few times. Yeah, I never thought well, like it was. I said, it, was it was one. It was entire. I didn't see my. I didn't see it in theaters. I saw it when it came out on DVD or you know whatever. But I was like, oh, Samuel Jackson's in it. Maybe it'll be good. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so yeah, this is a. Uh, it's a thing. Let's just put it that way. Um, what are your experiences with this movie? Any. Like I said, I've caught it on TV a few times. I forget why we watched it. I really only remember the Samuel Because there was nothing scene. else on? That's probably why we watched it, because it was in the middle of the day on a Saturday, and they don't actually play a lot of movies during the day on weekends on TV. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So, yeah. It, like I said, when it came out, I was like, you know, Hey, Samuel L. Jackson is in it, and like uh, you know, hey, I love Jaws, so hoping and no, it's it's nothing, yeah. it's bad. So, all right, let's get into it, everybody. Get it? It's on a uh, Netflix now, I believe it's also on Hulu. Don't quote me on that one. So, everybody, get your streaming pulled up to whatever you may choose, and in three, two, one, play. It is kind of a horror movie, so. Maybe play. Hold on. My thing decided to take crap. Oh. All right, let me know when you're caught up. I'm on 10 seconds into it. My screen has frozen. I'm not sure what's going on. Hold on. All right. I'm Did we end your Netflix? It. Yeah, I'm just going to restart it here. Hold on. Did we anchor the Netflix cuts? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Like I said, I'm just restarting it, so give me 30 seconds here. <laughs> Because it started playing and then it just froze. So. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, shut up. Okay. Now let's get ready. You said you're 10 seconds into it? Yeah, but I can rewind it. Okay. No, just leave it. So oh. one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play. <laughs> Time Graphic shark attacks and for language. That's yeah. That's why this movie's rated R. Graphic right. shark attacks. They're very Graphic. specific on that. Graphic. Not These just for violence. It's for graphic oh, okay. shark attacks. Hey, I got to turn this way down. <laughs> Granted, if I remember correctly, the shark attacks aren't exactly what I would call decent or even plausible. They're really stupid. Deep blue sea. Now, here's something that always get got me. They start the movie with a bunch of like teenagers just doing like a boat party. Is that a thing? Do people do that? Like, yeah. Is it okay for you to take dad's boat out on the onto the ocean and just? I don't, I don't live near an ocean, but I know people that have boats and took it out on the rivers. 
But I don't think they had sex because it's a little too whatever. But they definitely drink a lot of party on the boats on the rivers. Yeah, and what? I don't know. It's just these two. Oh, no, wait, it is a party. Yeah, there's four of them. Yeah. I don't know. It still just seems weird. It's like, I'm going to take dad's boat out. Yeah. Oh, you got bumped. Uh, so you got bumped on the ocean. There's a hundred and thousand things that could do this. Probably just want to stay in the boat, though, because, hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, watch the sail. Really? Who would have thought? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Yeah. How is it going? I'm assuming that yeah. like it is in the boat if it's hitting the floor, right? Because I'm yeah. most of these uh, types I, of fancy boats have like an under deck where all the sleeping quarters are, right? Yeah, that's what I don't I was know. I've never been on a fancy boat. Before. Punchy, unless they're on like a really crappy pontoon boat, but there's no way it a pontoon doesn't look boat like a crappy pontoon boat. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. It's got like a sail. It looks kind of fancy. I guess the yeah. middle of the boat doesn't have a... Yeah. Uh, they're all dead. It's fine. Yeah. If only. That's the problem with the, with doing horror movies, because I always end up wanting the monster to kill everyone. I'm going to turn it down a little bit more. I'm not sure if you guys are hearing it or not. Yeah, how did the shirt get all the way over there now? Because it just busted no, through the bottom of... It is some kind of, of I guess, it fancy is a, pontoon boat, no, maybe. When, when I don't know. The it is a pontoon boat. I don't know, boats. No, this is, this is hilarious. They're Would clearly they going to run out of... Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, they show, show the underneath. It is a pontoon boat. And... But their set is clearly... When they show above water, the set is clearly not a pontoon boat. It is actually... A boat, so that's continuity. Don't worry, guys. He's there. This guy to save your ass because sharks. Yeah. And now we go to. This, it looks like Chicago, or at least I've always assumed this was Chicago. It looks like a. Why does Chicago right. care about shark attacks on yeah, either that, that's coast? Not, They're yeah. in the middle. Like, Chicago's in the middle of the U.S. Yeah. Shark well, attacks that's are like clearly the least a, a Chicago skyline, so. Yeah. And this woman who... Was she on ER? This woman? I can't was remember. she on what? ER? Oh, she looks familiar, and I can't place it. No... Unless she was on... Oh, shit. Now, uh, did you pause? Accident. Or for like a split second, I'm good. I was yeah. going to try to... Here we go. Maybe? Nope. 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 Stop. I'm looking up the actress to see who it was because... Okay, Saffron Trying to figure Burrow. out how to put on I subtitles. Love. It's Saffron Burroughs. That's how I recognize her because she's in the, she's in a lot. Okay, fair enough. Grant, I don't know if this was her first role or anything, but I'm not exactly clear on what it, she was in, in, in for this or not. But yeah. And here we got Samuel Jackson and other president guy because again, why are they in Chicago? No idea. But hey, why not? And some crappy little biplane. I, mean, I guess it's not biplane, it's just a plane, but still. You couldn't get a better ride. You were, you just no. had her flying in via a helicopter. You couldn't get a better ride than this crappy little puddle jumper plane. Nope. I get. Uh, I appreciate that they actually have a propeller in front of the camera, but oh my gosh, I'm just looking at 
Look at the the brace between the windows. That's clearly not a plane. That is clearly fake. Oh man, that's bad. Again, you know, you know, you think they'd have like a helicopter landing pad or something on this. Now, I don't remember what kind of sharks they were using, but I do need to say. It is pretty much impossible for them to keep, like, especially great whites captive like this, because every time every time humanity has tried to keep a great white shark in captivity, it has not worked well. They don't like to stay stationary; they like to roam. So, if you put one in captivity, they it just it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, and a CGI shark here. <laughs> and I'm assuming they're in the Gulf of Mexico because they're speaking Spanish and stuff. Just drop it. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm sorry, it just bugs me to no end that uh, this like they use this crappy little puddle jumper airplane instead of like, oh, I don't know, a helicopter. Because they have this entire facility in the middle of the ocean. You'd think they'd have a hell landing pad. Might be too far out for a helicopter to go. I don't know what the range is on things. Well, I don't know. Grant, I I really doubt that a hel that pl little crappy plane could go any further than a helicopter would, but still. Okay, that one has stripes. Is it a tiger shark? Yeah, there are clearly stripes on that, so. Although, what the, what's the point of this? Because we know this person doesn't get eaten. Suspense. It's like, oh no, the yeah, shark's going to eat like, the swimmer oh, dude. Oh, I'm, just I'm so damn he's good, I can out. surf a shark. <laughs> Even though these sharks are apparently super intelligent. Oh, he's pulling something out of his mouth. <laughs> a license plate, because why not? Uh-huh. Is it a Louisiana license plate? Yeah, well, how come it, whenever there's a Shark Attack movie, there's always a flipping license plate? Yeah, and you're still sitting. The shark is clearly intending on eating you, and you're still sitting there with your legs in the water. I'm pretty sure the shark would come up by your legs. Off. I missed Granted, the story, but I got the feeling that somebody had a pet shark and then got sick of it and drove it to the Gulf to dump it, and thus the Louisiana license plate. I don't know. <laughs> No, uh, just it. Whenever I watch Shark Attack movie, it just reminds me about how, like, only a few years ago, there was a bull shark found in um, South Dakota. Oh. A bull shark. A bull shark had made it all the way up the Missouri, up all the way up Mississippi and Missouri River to South Dakota. I don't remember where it was found, but that's impressive. Yeah. Well, I know bull sharks can they can survive freshwater for a long time, but I didn't think they could make it that far. But hey. <laughs> Plot exposition. Ah, crap, I did it again. Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> again, it's like... Oh, gosh. The, they have this whole shadow underneath the water montage. It's like, yeah, if a shark was that big, 
That shark would be like a megalodon type thing because of how big it was. Oh yeah, so I see you through the water, and I'm not gonna do anything because yeah, yeah. They even have an announcer lady at this crappy facility. Grant, I will give them props that it. I mean, the facility is clearly like a crappy, run-down place, but still. Everybody's going home now because it's the weekend, I guess, and apparently we're going to have minimal staff watching over these apparently incredibly dangerous sharks. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't work more like an oil rig where they have people come on for two weeks and then leave yeah. and just swap out. Yeah, that's what I. That's what you'd think it'd be. Like, why would but, you want a skeleton crew on a weekend? Yeah, no doubt. Like, at any time at a facility yeah. like this. Yeah. Well, look, they got a brand new boat right there. Why couldn't they go and go out and get him on a brand new boat? They had to use a crappy helicopter. Grant, the entire part of the entire point of this movie is let's meet the shark food for later. These people are apparently very important, but don't worry, they're just gonna die. He's trustworthy, guys. Yeah, clearly. Very. Yeah. Yeah, your answer now, that does. <laughs> Okay, I now don't understand about his answer there. How high are these fences off the water? Like, yeah, you. Why, why does have... anything he was saying after that have to do with yeah. fence height? How high are these fences? I get that the water makes them bob around, but did you buy an eight foot fence or a ten foot fence? Well, the the thing that's getting me is apparently there's a different fence structure between the top and the bottom. Which, why? <laughs> Why don't you just have the fence that's below the water continue all the way up above, too? Uh, because it's cheap. The fence above the water is a cheaper fence. Why would you spend extra money for a more secure fence when you don't need it? I'm being serious. They would have probably two sets of fences because they're cheap, like every other anything ever. Yeah, but again, you're dealing with very intelligent and dangerous sharks. They don't expect the sharks to be able to jump. Granted, granted, there is there is a thing later. Well, a part later where it's like really stupid, but I can understand your logic. But still, it's like you know, you think it'd just be okay. You know, you at least have the good fence continue up a you know a little bit. Yeah, and here the part where it's like, oh, we're doing brain surgery on sharks. Uh, that would never happen. Why? Because shark brains, sharks don't have brains in the sense that we do. Shark brains are very, very small. They, I mean, it's hard to describe how stupid sharks are, but their brains, their brain per body ratio is, is that not what the same she's doing right insect, now? Is right? stuff on the brain because she picked that piece of his head up like it was all plastic and fake. My, like this that's, is that's so a, that's a fake, fake shark, looking right but... now. Well, that is a fake shark, but still. So is she just practicing? I guess. I don't know. But yeah, but like I said, it's like if you're doing any studies on the brain with a shark, you're not going to do it on a shark because sharks don't, sharks are stupid, stupid, stupid animals. Like I said, their brain per body ratio is about as, is on par with insects, all right? They're very, sharks are very much food. Are you food? Yes. Eat. Are you not food? Ignore. <laughs> and obviously there's a little bit of a leeway of in there of are you food? Maybe. Bite. See if you are food. But yeah. Sharks are stupid animals. They're not. So trying to go do brain surgery on one is no. It's not going to get any good results because they're stupid. So stupid. 
And granted, that's part of why it's like, oh, sharks don't get cancer, stuff like that, because there's not a lot that can go wrong with a shark. They're stupid. That's why that's why insects and stuff like that are so much better, uh, you know, dealing with radiation than humans are, because humans are very complex. There's a lot that can, but as a result of being so complex, there's a lot that can go wrong that can kill us. Not so much with insects. Insects are kind of like clocks. They work, and no matter what you do, unless you break it, it's going to work. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm speaking in very basic terms about that, but yeah. Don't worry, there's a skeleton crew, but we kept the chef. Even though, you know, the chef would be like, oh, and, his, and his bird. I forgot about the bird. <laughs> Yeah. I do. Uh, Grant, I should say, I'm actually glad that they actually got a real bird for the part and not just, and didn't just do a fake bird, but still. <laughs> is that LL Cool J? How did I forget he was in this movie? Is it? He probably died before I started, like, before I uh, started watching Is it. that LL Cool J? I think it is. I think it okay. is. <laughs> Oh, now, okay, I have to look it up now. Hold on. It is. It oh is. my god, what the fuck, dude? Seriously? That was a bad career move, buddy. You oh, wanted to man. get into acting. He's actually done quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, but you could have chosen a better movie than this, man. Yeah, oh, it's the incredibly intelligent sharks are eating another shark because of reasons. Huh. Yeah. Are the sharks out yet? Not yet. We're getting there. And again, it's like, okay, they have a skeleton crew, but the announcer lady is still there? Maybe she doesn't have a home to go back to? I don't know. Yeah. This is like Jurassic Park with sharks, right? That's like the plot of this movie. It's like Jurassic Park meets Jaws. Yeah. <laughs> Who's setting off flares? I don't know what the flares are for. Oh, it's a happy birthday party. Wow. I feel like this is one of those times where you shouldn't be setting off flares unless it's an emergency. Otherwise, when you have an emergency, well, well, that's, no one's going to believe you and come help you. That's what I happened with Titanic, actually. <laughs> that's what actually happened with the Titanic. <laughs> They were setting off flares at, um, when after the Titanic hit the iceberg, they started launching flares, but they weren't launching them in the proper order. And the Californian, which was nearby, saw the flares, but thought, oh, it's just a party because they're not launching these in the proper distress order. They're just launching them haphazardly. It's like, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. And mind you, for anybody, and I know, I know, people are gonna be bound like, oh, why didn't they listen to the radio though? Uh, the cal, the during the time the Californian was listening to the radio, but the last message they got from Titanic was "shut up, shut up, I'm very busy." So the radio guy on the Californian turned the radio off and went to bed. And yeah, and because of that, and because of that, so many people died because of basically incompetence is the only way to describe it. Yeah, and, and yeah, shark brain activity. There is no brain activity in a shark. They're stupid. All right. That's why they don't lose any brain activity. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Now, this part always kind of got me is that we see these two, this husband and wife character. 
The wife is very attractive. The guy is, oh my god, horrible. It's like, really, lady? I'm just amazed You could have shot a little bit higher there. That guy does not. He's oh man. I mean, mind not you, all about looks, Jacob. Come on now. Fair enough, but still. Her husband looks familiar, actually. It just always kind of bugged me that it's like this pretty attractive woman nails this guy who's just, oh my god. Talking about the sharks and blah, blah, blah. They're attacking people unprovoked. We should probably do something. It's fine. Yeah, Name no doubt. Last words. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I just want you to know that that may have been a real parrot, but somebody is credited with voicing the parrot. That wouldn't actually surprise me because it does say some things, but... I mean, granted, when they had the parrot eating the cream or whatever it was, that was a real parrot, obviously. But granted, that's pretty easy. It's like no, no, no. So we've. Well, I mean, it's a real parrot, but one person is credited for voicing the parrot. The other one is credited for parrot sounds. So you've got two different people voicing the parrot. What the fuck? Seriously? Yes. You couldn't just use oh, I don't know, a real flippant parrot to make parrot sounds. Maybe they couldn't get the noises it makes to pick up on the mic right. It's not that hard to go find wild parrots or go to a zoo and just... <laughs> which reminds me of uh, how a zoo got in trouble because the parrots were... Cur like The parrots had somehow out. learned cursing and were cursing at each other. So I had to split them up so they wouldn't do it anymore. I don't remember what zoo that was. Oh, there's a tropical storm coming because, yeah, you're in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, that whenever they show the parrot in close up, that's a real flipping parrot, at least. And unless they spent a law, I spent this. Unless they spent all their money on in this crappy movie on making a fake parrot, which I would be like. Why, but no, the money clearly went into the fake sharks. Yeah, well, which was not a lot. <laughs> yeah, uh, why are you running this test when there's a tropical storm approaching? Wouldn't you be like, all right, let's let's not because they're this. idiots. <laughs> well, yeah, the sharks are smarter than the characters, unfortunately. You're on a skeleton crew. Your sharks are behaving erratically. There's crazy weather coming. Yeah, sounds like a perfect time to run a test. No. Yeah, no, no doubt. No sane person would run a test in these conditions. No doubt. Well, the, that, well, that reminds me. I, I know when 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 one of my friends had a heart attack, they had a heart. They had their heart attack like late night Friday. And the, the the hospital was like, we're not going to do the surgery you need until Monday because it's, you know, it's the weekend. And it's like, you don't have anybody on staff. I mean, mind you, his heart, his heart attack, they didn't even call it a heart attack. They called it a heart episode, but still. It was a very minor thing, but still. Yeah, and here, it's like, okay, we have this entire cage network underneath the shark, underneath the water. For this guy, even though there's, you know, you could just, I don't know. None of this makes sense. It's like, what's the practical use of this tunnel except for this guy to swim through? For maintenance, to check on the shark surveillance. There's a few reasons why you'd need a cage system to traverse the waters below and not get eaten by sharks. Yeah, yummy. That's a shitty cage system, though. I don't think it should bend like that at all. Yeah. Yeah, and this part here. Oh, the 
the sharks swimming backwards. Sharks can't swim backwards, not because they're too stupid to swim backwards, because they physically cannot. Yeah, there you sharks go. Can't swim, the, yeah, sharks can't swim backwards, not because they're too stupid, but because their fins, because of how their fins are, they just like they physically, physically can't. can't yeah, it. yeah, it's physically impossible for them to do that. Yeah, oh, and the sharks know what the cameras are and eat the cameras, which it should be mentioned. They have had problems of sharks eating cameras, but that's not because the sharks are like, "Oh, camera, let's eat it." It's because the camera has elect, you know, you know, it's electric, and sharks can pick up on that. So they like, "Oh, you're electric." Well, that's what that's why hammerhead sharks have that such long head. It's they have all those electric receivers, and it's like, "Oh." You're something. Are you food? And they bite it, and it's like, oh, you're not food. So, so now he's think, just in the water. Yeah, now he's just in the water because, yeah. And uh, they're not calling it off because, oh, the cameras went out. Hey, get out of there. Dude, you can't. Dude, the cameras are out. You can't see. Why wouldn't he have, like, cage. turned around and started heading back after all that weird shit happened? People are dumb. Yeah. Well, Granted, it is possible he wouldn't know, but still. <laughs> it's like, you know, it, as soon as a camera went out, you'd be like, hey, dude, the camera went out. Get back. Nom, 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 nom. Also, why does the... um? I, this makes no sense. You have the tunneling system, and then it's just open at the end, so the sharks can potentially get into the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what's going on? Because we didn't see him open a door or anything. He was just no. not. And yeah, in this part here, uh, the shark would be suffocating because it's doesn't. It's not getting water going through its mouth or through the gills. So they have, yeah, they have this scene of the shark being underwater. It's like it would be suffocating because there's no water. Now, I mean, here it'd be okay because they actually have water going, but still. Yeah. Hey, you had a you had a rebreather. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, stra hey, uh, you might want to strap it down because that's a shark, and it's a very, very big shark, bigger than any natural shark I'm aware of. Uh, if it were if it decides to thrash around, it's gonna hurt someone. Tie it down. <laughs> Yeah, you no, know, not those little freaking. They use like these little tiny little straps. No, you need real freaking. Get some those actual tiny heavy little uh, yellow straps aren't gonna. Keep yeah, these the tiny down. little straps that you would use to tie something to the back of your pickup truck. Yeah, the, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry, guys. And you, you're smoking in an insulation underwater. Seriously, dude. Seriously. Like, they're clearly doing medical procedures, too. Like, yeah. why in the world would you be smoking? They're pretty much doing some kind of, like, scan on the shark. Yeah, I... None of the, dude, I mean, I, can, I mean, don't get me wrong. I understand people are addicted to cigarettes. I get it. Do that before your test. And, dude, why are you still sitting there beside the shark? Because he's the shark whisperer. Yeah, he's... <laughs> He's the fish keeper. <laughs> Clearly, he thinks he has some kind of connection with the sharks. Apparently. I mean, I understand. I mean, yeah. What is she doing? Yeah, again, why is the shark not tied down in any way? It is just occurred by these two really crappy straps, like I said, that you would use to strap something in your pickup with it's like right? no you like, get some heavy you duty probably shit, have right? more straps you'd probably want to put that get the head tied down better like the head especially it's just so awful yeah now grant this part here of uh her like jammy like stapling the stuff into shark it's probably the shark would the shark would feel it but it wouldn't hurt the shark because they have so much blubber or, or you know to protect them from the cold, yeah, it wouldn't. That would, it would feel it, but it probably wouldn't hurt. It'd be like that. 
Oh, yeah. We're just going to jab this needle directly into your head. Yeah. Again. Everybody enjoys having needles stabbed in their head. Yeah. Well, this part would hurt, yeah. <laughs> Again, why is the shark not secured? Because if it... The shark just... We saw the shark moving there when this, the thing didn't move with it. It would right. break the needle. Seriously. Oh, we're extracting brain fluid because we need this because reasons. None of this makes sense. <laughs> and again, why is Samuel L. Jackson's character even there? Mind you, now I, I have think no about idea. it. Because he was in the office in Chicago, or mind you, again, I'm assuming it, there it's Chicago, but it was the Chicago skyline. And he's out here? <laughs> okay, they're dropping the fluid onto a, a, something, a lump of brain, I guess. I don't know. None of this test. None of this test makes sense. It's. I'm sorry. You got the brain fluid. Let the shark go now. Let it, you know. Pull. It, let it go back into the water. You don't need it strapped there anymore. Right. Especially when no one's watching it. Again. Okay. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that dude's comments make no sense. Yeah, no. Well, none of this movie makes sense. Again, dude, you're in a... Let the shark go. You got what you need. Now let it go. And you don't, don't taunt the shark here. Now nah, he's gonna die. Now it's oh, fine. No, no. Yep, there it is. His entire arm. Yeah. Yeah, and okay. Well, hold on. The strap, it, the concrete breaks, and not the crappy strap. Right? Are you kidding me? Bull. But who's gonna die first, the armless dude or his or the girl? Again, why have they? Why is the shark still there? <laughs> Dude, the shark is killing people. Yeah. Again, why didn't they do this to earlier? Again, you don't need you once you got the brain material. Let it. You hit that button. You don't. Yeah, although once the shark starts, you know, going crazy and biting someone's arm off, you kill it. Yeah. You should probably tourniquet that arm, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, let's do something to stop the bleeding. A Doing this is not going to do a stump it. is not going to stop the bleeding. You got, he's no. already lost. No, him. you need to tourniquet on there. Like. Yeah, you need to tie that shit off. All right. And you should probably all leave now. Yeah. Why don't they have a doctor as part of the med crew? Any like the skeletal crew that yeah, works? No the doubt. Well, now they're getting a tourniquet after the guy would have died. Well, okay, here's a helicopter. Okay, they can call a medevac helicopter. I don't. Know. This movie makes no sense, and the CGI doesn't. is crap. <laughs> CGI is horrible. Oh, and now she's got to turn on the light for the medvac helicopter. Um, why don't the they have the medvac helicopter going to crash? It's going to crash, isn't it? I don't remember what happens. I remember, I remember it does crash, but I don't think it's because of like the bad weather or shit. Okay, you need a lot more lights than that. All right, amazing. 
mind you, piloting in this type of weather, holy shit, you know, you you good, babe. They you probably good. would have said no because they can't see. It's like I'm sorry, yeah, your well, friend's this dying. Type of weather but... Okay, I don't think I don't think they can actually say you know I don't. I'm not sure what the actual protocol is in this type of situation, but I don't think I'm it's like. I'm pretty sure bad weather can like prohibit anything from flying. Because you're yeah, not like going to help said, anybody if you die along the way to pick them up. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know the actual procedure, so I, you, you're probably right. But I'm sorry, with water, when the water is literally going up over knee, over above you like that, there's no way the helicopter would be able to stay. Hey there, That's like what I that. mean, like. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Emergency evac. Yeah. Okay, you get. Okay, now literally, here's what you do. You have it now. The helicopter would lift up and away. Get out of there. Although this does remind me, there's a viral video of a helicopter evacuating someone, but because it was improperly secured, the patient was just spinning around like a top. And uh, with the setup they have here, that would is exactly what would happen. The person exactly would be they're only like strapped in at one point. Yeah. Like if that thing, oh, none of this. Oh, yeah. and now the engine on the pulley in the helicopter stopped working. I don't know. <laughs> okay, he's right there. You are so close. You can reach down and literally pull him in. Now, this is much more exciting. Yeah. Ow. Well, oh, why yeah, would that would... even happen? Yeah, uh, I don't I don't know how uh, a, a motor sure there'd would break be so bad. I'm pretty sure on the winch that would keep it from doing yeah. that. Yeah, I think there are. Uh oh! Now, yeah, a shark has it oh now. Oh my god! This is yeah, the line just went tight. <laughs> yeah, uh, and there's no way a shark is strong enough to pull a helicopter down like this. I'm sorry, that isn't happening. Why are you still in this underwater area? I like how they're trying yeah. to get oh, the, the camera. Oh, the shark's gonna pull the helicopter. The it, oh, it's gonna break the metal. Oh my god. There's no way the line is strong enough Your to break Your picture's not going to magically come back. I thought the shark literally took out the cameras. Yeah, I have no idea. None of this makes any sense. The tower yeah, girl just dead. Go, uh, she's dead too now. <laughs> Up, everyone's going to die. It's fine. Yeah. <sighs> so so the line quite the explosion. Was Kaboom! What caused that explosion? Because there's no way that the that helicopter had enough gas in it to cause that much of an fireball. <laughs> it's like we hit the napalm store. I get, yeah. See, those things exploding like that would make sense because those are actually gas canisters. But kaboom! So wait, how? Where the heck is he? That uh, that explosion wouldn't kill him. Why is he underwater? Oh, oh my god, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> it's like the metal line was somehow stronger than the metal, the steel grating that was there to you know for them to walk on. So it ripped through that, and the shark was also strong enough. To pull a helicopter down. <laughs> and the line just did, oh, I don't know, break in that entire situation. And here. <laughs> the sharks are using the guy as a battering ram. <laughs> and he's still alive. He how is he still alive? I don't know. How is he not drowned? He would have drowned by now, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way that would also have enough... that glass underwater would be able to withstand something like that. It would yeah, have to no be doubt. super reinforced glass to even be there. 
Yeah. There's no way an impact like that would cause it to break. No. That makes this glass weaker Look than like glasses. Look how thick that chunk was. There's no way that impact would cause it to crack. No. Oh the my dude's God. skull would smash before the glass would. Yeah. He'd be dead. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, he's dead already. He's dead. Yeah, that's not at all how that would work. Yeah, no way. What would actually happen to you was he would bounce off and then slowly sink down. Poor Eric. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, and see, now would be a good time to, you know, oh, I don't know, grab the shotgun and start killing some sharks. That's too late. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're lucky you're not being overwhelmed by the sheer amount of water flowing in there, buddy. Right. Because <laughs> what would actually happen is if you got pushed to get off the rail like that, you'd actually be being pushed into the wall because of all that water, and there's no way you'd be able to withstand that. That's why riptides are so damn dangerous because you can't, you can't, with that much water pressure, you can't do anything. You're screwed. Nope. Yeah, and you can't even close the flipping door. Like, that's why that door would have to be automated with like super yeah. hydraulics to withstand water, like yeah. the water pressure. Now she's freaking out because her boyfriend or husband or whatever is dead. Yeah, and she, well, how was she not freaking out already? I don't know, but. <laughs> the poor cook has no idea what's happening. Yeah the, yeah, the cook has no idea what was happening. He just felt the same Also, thing stage. why is a cook part of the skeleton crew just eat like leftovers or cold crap? Yeah. Why don't you have a doctor? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> this skeleton crew makes no sense. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, and thank God you noticed that little bit of water seeping through, and no one else did. Right. This if is the, why the majority. the stairs this is are why flooded, why would the elevator be working? I don't know. <laughs> None of this I don't think LL well. Cool J is going to make it, guys. I'm sorry. And if you are actually were to set up a station like this, wouldn't it be better to actually set the station above the water and then like only have the stuff, only have underwater stuff that you need instead of having the entire station underwater? Like that one medical room you have. Yeah, I can understand that being under the water, but none, but the rest of it, it makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah, and then this part here. Yeah, you praying to God. Okay, you want me to stop drinking? I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, we need to get up in the storm. I don't even remember who... Even actually survives this, if anyone. I don't remember either. I think LL Cool J does survive. I'm pretty sure he does. That'd be nice. He but hasn't even really done anything to the sharks. Poor guy. Yeah, well, he's just he's just the cook. It's like just dude, the cook. yeah, it's like why again? But like you said earlier, why is a cook in the skeleton crew when they could have you know? Oh, I don't leftover, you know. Even Lunchables would be fine, you know? It's That's only what I mean, in. like... How is so much water getting into this facility? What, what damage was caused that caused all this water to come rushing in? Yeah, see, again, yeah, we see him being swept away by just a little bit of water. I mean, it only takes... Uh, I forget what it is. It's like cars. It doesn't actually take that much water to get a car, like, pushed to ha have water start moving it. If water yeah. is flowing fast, it doesn't take much. Yeah. If water's flowing fast, it's taking you with it. <laughs> so, yeah, you being able to escape a room that's flooding like that, nah. Yeah. And, yeah. and the water pressure is somehow causing the rivet, which, number one, why is this facility using rivets? 
as a uh, someone who works with welding and stuff, the pressure stuff gets hydro tested to the door rivets would be able to withstand whatever pressures behind that door. Yeah. Cause someone no would have calculated like, cause there's only, especially with water, it's really hard to have any pressure behind it without pumps or something. Yeah. So like in a place like this, water will come in, it'll fill everything up, but it's not like the ocean's going to continue to push water into a space that's already full. Yeah. Once this thing is full, it's full. You're not going to add mm -hmm. more water to pressurize it more. That yeah. door would be fine. Well, water's non-compressible. It can't. You can't do that. <laughs> you can compress it. It's just really difficult. That's what I mean. Yeah. In a setting like this, without like mechanical engineering forces, yeah. it's you're not going to get that much pressure behind a door. No doubt. But it's just. Oh, now the water, yeah, the water has, yeah, now we can walk in it, even. Yeah, because it's it's equalized now. That's what would happen. I'm just, I'm still just curious what damage was, could possibly have been caused that caused so much flooding in so much of the facility. And, again, there's a hole that a shark can swim through, apparently, that we saw earlier. What the hell? None of this Given how anymore. big these sharks are, you would think it would need something deeper than waist deep water to swim in, but yeah, yeah. Because these these are not tiny sharks; these are very, very big sharks. And I know, mind you, I do know a lot of shark attacks take place in waist deep water, but that's usually something like a bull or a tiger shark, something that's you know something rather small that you don't that you don't even know is there until oh, out it bit me. <laughs> Seems that way. I don't know. Yeah, and oh, oh, only now are you at... I'm, I'm assuming this guy is like an investor and he's... That Samuel Jackson's character is like an investor and he's here to see, you know, he's here to oversee the project. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you know what the situation was before you, so you wouldn't have to ask her? No, but that's what she didn't tell them what all they did. That's what she's just saying. They yeah. violated the contract. They did things they weren't supposed to do. We played so according God. to the contract, because you're right, he would know everything as an investor. And according to yeah. what's on paper and what he should know, this should not be possible. So that's why he's like, what what are you actually doing down here? We played God. That's what we did. That's it. It's Jurassic Park with sharks. Hey, why not? Man, that close up on her face is just yeah. Gross. That close up, of, yeah. And the nice blue lighting. <laughs> I think this camera's yeah. gonna go up her nose. Yeah, and what you've done is taking God's. Oh, this is the oldest killing machine. Uh, are they? I think they. I guess they are. The only other animal I could think that could compete with that would be crocodilians, but I think sharks came first. An eight, oh, mako shark? A mako shark? Mako sharks don't get that big. Mako sharks are very small. They somehow played with Genetics and got they larger than normal sharks. Are you not paying attention, Jacob? <laughs> they, I'm sorry. How? I'm sorry. What the fucking kind of genetic science were you doing that would make a mako shark, which is normally like seven to eight feet long, growing to thirty feet long and getting to eight thousand pounds? 
Yeah. Oh, look, it's a shark going through the water. How is the, a shark that big able to swim in water that's not even Yeah, dry? is able to swim in water like this. And how... Yeah, uh, if there, yeah, if there were a shark in there, you'd be dead already, buddy. There's no way you could possibly get away from a shark. Oh, and yeah, hiding around the corner, that's good. Yeah, that'll work. Go with hide a, around the corner. It's not even like a pan. cast iron frying pan he's got. He's got like a dinky little yeah, it's, steel one. It's not yeah. going to do anything. That's going to just bounce off him. And don't worry, the shark decides to go somewhere else. Yeah, uh, at this point, you'd be like, all right, let's get above water now. <laughs> yeah. So they're talking about going into the water to escape um, in the water where the sharks are, mind you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, they were going to use the sub, which was trashed. Yeah, that would yeah, that would still make absolutely no sense because if the sharks could do that, there's no <laughs> way you would. Yeah, if the sharks could trash the sub like that, there's no way you could possibly. Yeah. Okay. Now he's got an axe. That would actually do some good. No, look at the size of that axe. It's like a kitchen I machete. I didn't see how big it was. I just saw it's an axe. Right, look how Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> that would do nothing. That would just bounce. That's not doing that anything. So pathetically tiny. Oh yeah, the door is opened. So the door opening somehow got uh, I'm assuming the shark got in like that. Yeah, in water like that, you'd be able to see if there were a shark in there. Oh, the bird. Yeah. You're trying I'm pretty to sure see the bird? Are you kidding? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the bird would just go, like, you know, it's like, oh, you're my master. I'm going to come and land on your shoulder. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, the shark. Om nom nom nom. Oh, the shark, the shark the went bird. for the bird and not him. Uh, yeah, and again, the shark went for the bird and not him. And yeah, the shelf just fell over now. It didn't fall over when he had all his weight over there like that. No. Well, I mean, you could say he was lower when he was trying to get the bird. So when he started to climb, the uh, center of gravity shift was too much. And that's when it started to fall. I believe it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> and hiding in the oven. Yeah, I don't know about can, that. The shark, can, the shark can trash a submarine, but it can't break through an oven door. I mean, the oven door is smaller. It's not like the shark can get its jaws around the entire oven since it's in the wall and, like, break it. Well, just use it. Well, from what we're seeing, they're just using their heads as battering rams. That's what Yeah, they probably could use do that. Battering and break the door open. <laughs> Granted, even if you did, I don't know if you'd be able to get, your, get him because the sharks don't exactly have a tongue that can you know, reach in and pull them out. So it'd just be like, oh, crap, I can't reach you. Is this one he does? Yeah, and you, here. Uh, I'm going to talk about getting into a dive suit and swimming out of this. Again, swimming in the water with the sharks. Yeah, it's fine. And the shark, random thrashing around, could somehow turn the oven on, which how the oven has not sort circuited, considering the water around it. I don't know, but okay, there's no way that oven would actually be able to work right now with that much water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, we this with the the shark has broken the crack the glass. 
and they can't get through. I'm like, this next, oh my it's, god. Yeah, well, that's the only thing the shark is going to do is flood the oven. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be cooked in my own damn oven. <laughs> that's a little small. That, that's some pretty, wow. Like, he if that shark that breaks the hole? oven door, it's not going to be able to, like, get yeah. into it other than stick its nose in yeah like that okay because it won't be able to open its so, mouth in the oven it's too small okay yeah okay and diving in the water yeah dive in the water here <laughs> yeah uh, okay a lighter that was underneath the water that ain't working no. And this, and oh yeah, throwing the lighter. And he probably should have opened the door and gotten out. How would that? How would what that? The, how did that explode? Okay, so I'm a guessing it was a gas oven, but there's no way the gas would have built up enough like that to no. explode like that. <laughs> and even if it did, how would that kill the shark? Oh, the water's murky. We might make it. Get away from the fucking water. See, this is facts. They're all dead. Yeah. Finally, a character speaking some sense. There's <sighs> Yeah, okay. So the tu the tunnel they're talking about is pressurized. Okay, yeah, and I I do remember this part here because it's it's memed on, but Yeah. It's like I'm going to give a whole inspirational speech now. And then he dies. That's fine. Yep. Yep. I wasn't going to spoil it. But yeah. It's like, yeah, he gives an entire inspirational speech and then dies. Again, get away from the fucking water. <laughs> well, he's trying to prove a point that they need to swim into the water to get back out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about how oh, no, he survived the challenge. Yeah, don't worry. Timothy. Timothy. Yeah, first we're going to seal off this hole, and there's the shark. Om nom nom. Yeah. Which, how did the shark know he was there? Did it see him, it I guess? Matter. I, yeah, oh, oh yeah, look at all that blood. Yeah, look at that bubbly right. blood. Yeah. Yeah, and then another shark comes up and it, it helps eat him. Yeah, okay, that was necessary. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, yeah, it did. Yep, we're yeah. Yeah. You know what you could do now is because because this is I'm assuming it's just like you know okay, so just wait. You don't have to really just chill out here. You're safe. The shark can't get in. Right. And, so yeah. cool, like what he was saying. Yeah, just chill out right here until the until the actual crew comes back, and then the crew can help get you out. 
who designs a thing that sits in water that can't structurally handle getting full of water? Yeah, no doubt. That makes absolutely no sense. Like, I don't... No. Yeah. No. Okay. You would never so find me on something like that. Yeah. None of this I'm makes like, sense. I'm sorry. So if something were to happen and this thing were to, like, okay. break and, and then, water yeah, gets okay. in... Yeah. If the water would not come rushing in like this... Why didn't they there's... seal the pool? Grant, I don't know if they had a way to do it, but still... There's no way is if the they had the water doing this because like of that? the water pressure from opening the door and the pressurized entryway. I don't think yeah. that's how that works. Yeah, if the wa if the if it had that much pressure on it to for the water to come rushing in like that, you wouldn't be able to stand in the doorway. It would push you in. And there's no way you'd be able to close the damn door. Yeah, why don't you two ladies help them? I have so many questions as to what is going on in this well, scene. Well, right it's just now. the structure of this place that can get flooded so horribly. Like, I feel if you're, I just don't know. If you're going to make a thing, a structure on the water, you would have so many safeguards as to where water would drain to if it were to yeah. get into the building. So that it wouldn't take the whole place down. Yeah. Okay, if there were a giant fireball up above it, I'm pretty sure, I don't think that you would have any oxygen there. It would just you suck wouldn't. all the oxygen out. Well, no. What? Okay. Again, I thought they said this area was pressurized. So that fire would have put itself out before they even opened the door. Yeah. And now the shark can And when they in, open the door, the like, would you have a backdraft effect then? Like, it's... they don't. None of this makes any sense. Oh, the dar the dang shark has found the door, and it's going to break the door open. Even though there's no way a shark would be able to cause enough pressure to break a steel door like that. Why did I agree to this movie? I don't know. Why did I choose this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's summer. Let's go swimming. Water's fine. And uh, this part, the part that really gets me is that it's like, oh, sharks are these mindless killing machines. I would go swimming with sharks, all right? Because they're not killing machines. You just have to look like something that's not food. Yay! Here's the shark. It's Brucey. What is he doing? I don't remember. Uh, ow, that would hurt. Oh, he's opening up a door so it can flood that section too. And by, and yeah, that way it'll have to, yeah, that way the water will have to flood this area too. And I mean, that no kind of makes sense. Your knife isn't going to open that door. Your knife is going to Yeah, yeah your that. dinky little knife there is That's not going to open that door. It would just snap. <laughs> Yeah. Like that. Yep. Oh, it's already full of water. It doesn't even matter. You're only going to be making it. Yeah, well, yeah, it's already full of water. That's not going to help you at all. Yeah, if there's water, what are you trying to do? Keep moving. If Stop looking back. Like that. Okay, so it wasn't entirely flooded. Yeah, the shark would have eaten you by now. Oh, it's got really bad aim. Don't worry. I like how the shark can, like, jump up and eat. Oh, and the pillow. Jackson how are the, can't how jump is anywhere the water else. Is it, how is the pillars that this structure is in crap breaking? What is causing those to break? Whee! Yeah, uh, thank God that the... Okay, the lady that fell in the water, swim over to the ladder and climb out. 
swim to the ladder and climb out. It doesn't matter. They're all just going to risk their lives to save her, and she's going to yeah, die anyway. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I don't want to swim to the fucking ladder, you dumb lady. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't want to die, but I'm not going to do anything to save myself. Away from me. Yeah, she's dead. No, you're going to have like a gush of red, right? Like that's how this movie's going to work at what this point. What the? Even better. Yeah. <laughs> That uh, that that's better than a gush of red, but yeah, that. <laughs> I want to make I want to make a very bad nose. joke. For I, I want to make like a very if bad. If that's me in a shark's mouth, I'd be beating the nose of the yeah, freaking yeah. shark or something, right? Like. <laughs> I want to make a very bad joke about where that shark had bitten her, but I'm not gonna. Oh yeah, I'm no. Not, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm too classy for that. <laughs> This is awful. This is a terrible movie. Oh my movie. god, this is a horrible movie. This is so much worse than I remember it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they weren't even trying. Yeah. Can you reach the door? No. Uh, here's an idea. You go over to him and then give him a boost up. So the door's pounding open. How would they have flooded that level? Don't worry, guys. It's the cook. Okay, hold on, hold on. If the if the tunnel was pressurized, how come him opening up that door doesn't cause the water rushing up? Because oh it's not God, pressurized me... anymore. I don't know. Yeah. None of this movie makes any sense. This makes absolutely no sense. Like, nobody understands science in this movie. Yeah. How high is that fence? Well, it depends on... How high did you build the freaking fence? Yeah. I'm, so, I'm going to keep going back to that. It doesn't depend yeah. on anything. Why is there a gap between the fences? Wouldn't you have them overlap? Yeah, that's another thing. You probably would. Yeah, yeah. Again, what is causing the structural pillars to collapse? What has happened to this uh, that caused so much damage? I just thought of something even stupider. Are you ready for this? Oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> so this this base is mostly underwater to begin with, right? Right. Okay, which means they it's they have to keep the inside pressurized to begin with, with air to keep the water out. Yeah. Introducing water would actually just equalize everything and make it easier for the structure to exist underwater. It wouldn't cause, it wouldn't add more tons of pressure and make it fall. You're right. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a... <laughs> This movie is so stupid. <laughs> I feel like I need a drink, all right? I think this movie is worse than Miami Connection, even though I don't remember Miami Connection. Miami Connection was just like, it wasn't trying to be good. This movie somehow got good reviews. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's the like, kicker. Miami Connection was a passion project made by some guys. Like, no and, one's ever said uh, Miami Connection is a good movie, but there are people out there that think this one is. Oh, my gosh. And I don't remember Miami Connection, and I'm pretty sure I would rewatch that before I would rewatch this. I did not just, remember how bad this movie was. I get they're just trying too hard on the science as to why they're doing things, and it's all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they would have been better off not even trying to explain what was going on and just have it be sharks attacking. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no doubt.
Shane said what if Deep Blue Sea was good. They, well, there are sequels. Yeah, there are sequels. To this movie? Yeah. What? How? We're not watching the sequels. Sci Fi Channel, get a hold of this shit. Right now, I'm watching this movie for LL Cool J because all the other characters are morons. Yeah. He's the only intelligent character, and he's supposed to be the cook, which would mean you think he'd be the worst, but no. He's the only character who's read the script and knows I, he has to survive. I'm positive he survives. How are they going to drain this stairwell? What's up? Because here's the thing. You're not draining anything if you're underwater. You need yeah, if you're underwater, things out yeah, at this you're, point. You're yeah. You can't drain anything when you're already yeah. below sea level. Unless they, the only way you can do anything is if you had pumps, but that's what I mean. Yeah. We're gonna go drain the the stairwell. Why are you yeah, drain it to where pumps would be automated? Exactly. Like There was three docks? I thought there was some there were three sharks. I thought there were only two. No, there were three. Uh. <laughs> I remember I remember earlier in the movie you saw them swimming in a formation, which was just really stupid, but Yeah, oh I'm looking Yeah, I'm looking at the my friends that I've caused the death of because I'm stupid. <laughs> I mean, she's got a point. Yeah. All of this uh, I, happened because she took data. If you don't save the data, then literally all of this happened for nothing. And someone else is just going to try to recreate it later and just cause the same crap. <laughs> None of this movie makes sense. What they need now is like the maintenance tunnel that they can crawl yeah. through, but the sharks can't get through. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Although I'm sure they would just have the sharks crash through it because apparently these sharks can just. <laughs> but yeah, no doubt. Bad. The sharks are so strong that they could just bulge out the maintenance tunnel and swim through it, no problem. <laughs> okay, so where are they at? And man, they can hold their. Oh, are they back? They're back in their lab. That got flooded at the beginning of the movie. Why are they there? And they can hold their breath for a really long time, I will say. Right. Because I can hold my breath for our I should I used to be able to hold my breath for two minutes. Uh oh, oh there's the guy who drowned earlier. He's yay. Thank God there's a... Okay, wait. How is it that there's this much air left? Wouldn't it just be the water rushed in until it was until the water couldn't rush in anymore? Yeah, that so was how is it that water, water was getting... There's I don't this know why the water left. stopped. Wouldn't there be an actual... Yeah. I mean, mind you, unless there was a... Unless there was a I mean, it's possible that, like, if you take, like, for example, if you put this cup underneath the water... The water is not going to fill it all up because there's, you know, the air pressure will keep it down, but there's no way for the air to escape. So how, so if the, if the hole was here, the water would only go up to where that hole is and there'd still be air there. How is it that the water was able to flood everything up until that much is left? Yeah, I've given up on. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we gave up on science a long time ago with this movie. Yeah, and mind you, in this type of, type of situation, it is, you know, I do know a lot of people, you know, would do this. You know, it's like, you know, they'd share their memories of, you know, I, you know, tell my family I love them, blah, blah, blah. And we will begin with the perfect omelet. Uh, that bit, I don't think so. I don't think you would ever be like, and well, now we're going to talk about how to make the perfect omelet. 
Hey, if cooking is your passion, maybe it is. Yeah. <laughs> Go get Gordon Ramsay's final thoughts on video. See what he says. <laughs> What are they doing in the water? Know. And why have the sharks... Because the sharks would be able to sense all this shit going on and hear all this shit going on. Why have right? they not come to investigate? How are those lights still working? Yeah, these guys can really hold their breath for a long time. How are the lights on whatever this thing is still yeah, working? no doubt. Yeah, a point, dumbass. Om nom nom. Yeah, how did he get full? How did he get so far away from the Okay, if lights are flashing because of electricity, everything in that water is getting Ow. electrocuted. Oh, oh wait, the, even the twitching? What the fuck, seriously? Oh, man, that CGI was terrible. Yeah. This movie makes absolutely. I like how the music stopped to let him breathe. And yeah, as soon yeah, as he got back underwater, it started back up again. Where are you swimming to? I don't know. It's. <laughs> and you just watched your best friend die. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there comes the shark. It was kind enough to use the railing. Why? Th what? Okay, see, that's what would happen if you actually opened up the door in a pressurized room. It would, woohoo! Although, why the shark didn't come up and eat you and decide to veer away at the last second, I don't know. Because the shark knows he's a good guy. He got the license plate out of its mouth. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, he, yeah, he's the main character. He's not going to die. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go into the water to save the data because reasons. Okay, hold on. If Why there's are there no electricity in this thing place? I would not go in the water. Yeah, no doubt. Okay, and he's taking the video. Oh my god, <laughs> that dates this movie bad. Look at the videotape he made. <laughs> what would Look it be these face. days? Uh, sand disc. Yeah, no doubt. Flash drive, flash drive type thing. <laughs> Granted, you could nowadays you could just like email that to the cloud. Yeah, that's Please true too, YouTube. right? You don't even <laughs> need to take anything physical with you. It's already on the internet. It's fine. Yeah, it's in the cloud. Put it on YouTube. It'll be there. It'll be there forever. No, that reminds me of a of a stupid joke that Jeff Dunham made. What happens in Vegas stays on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, why are they wearing these wetsuits? That because they knew they'd be in the water, and the water would no, be no, no, cold, no. and the wetsuits. But the wetsuits aren't entirely. The wetsuits don't encompass their entire body. It's like they. Like I, I noticed. I noticed. That makes absolutely no sense. I know. Yeah, it's like she's got her. She's wearing a wetsuit that only goes up to like her knees. He's got yeah. one that exposes all his arms. So who's not dead, I guess? I, I think we got three characters. Saffron yeah, Burrow, it's just these three, I think. The guy, the guy who I don't know whose actor it is, and LL Cool J, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. Just these three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, uh, wouldn't the water have caused, has destroyed whatever information you're trying to get anyway? <laughs> oh, there's a shark behind you. It's probably the fake shark that we saw earlier. I'm willing to be, yeah, it's the fake shark we saw earlier. Oh, look, it's the fake shark that she, uh, t yeah, that she has. Yeah. Uh oh, there's another one. <laughs> How. This one's not fake. <laughs> om nom nom. <laughs> I 
How is it that she's able to put, keep the shark away from her off of that? I don't. I like how she's standing on a table as if that's yeah, I'm, I'm the just shark away on this tiny little table that'll keep me safe. Yeah, no worry. Yeah, this table's got me. Don't worry. Where'd the shark? Well, I don't understand go? her logic here at all. Yeah, we off the table. And now, yeah, now she's vulnerable again, even though the shark would easily be able to knock that table over and eat you. Like, the shark jumped out of the water to eat everyone else, but her yeah. standing with her feet in the water is going to, like... Yeah, and don't worry. It's, it's, yeah, I guess. Yeah, uh, don't reach for the data, but you can't reach. It's the shark's going to come up and eat the data. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get, dummy. Oh, see. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna okay. Allow okay. To keep absolutely work. everything in the water. Okay. What are hold you on. doing? Aren't you okay? My guess is she's making it so she'll be so that way. She's putting that down so she won't be you know so she won't be grounded. But she's already wearing shoes which would protect her. Gee, I hope her friends aren't in the water right now either, too, right? Yeah, no like... doubt. <laughs> Plus, I feel like this facility would have so much, like... Yeah. Would have so many safety things if water were to get into the electrical yeah, system. Yeah, OSHA is... That it would just shut down immediately. And being like, what the fuck did you guys make? <laughs> They just wanted to get her in her underwear. It's fine. Well, yeah. Well, that's like I said. That's the entire. I mean, the science, quotey, 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 they're using is that she's putting that there so she won't be grounded and so she won't get shocked. But she's already wearing shoes. She wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah. And the shark ate the data you needed. So yeah, good job. So yeah, everything was for nothing, and now you're gonna get out of this and be faced with so many lawsuits. You're gonna go to jail, bitch. Oh, she got she got back in her clothing. But she didn't zip it all the way up. Yeah. But like you said, the only the only reason they had her take the clothing off was just to get her in a bikini because. She would be so needed... cold. Yeah, no doubt. This water would be freezing. Oh, she zipped it back up. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I do know that is a thing. If you go deep diving, if, if you take a breath where the air is pressurized, yeah, it's possible for your lungs to pop like a balloon like for that, like that. So I do know that is a thing. I do know of people who, you know, they they have to train specifically for this because Yeah, I, I, I just, be, I, this part just gets me. It's like, why don't they just sit tight and wait for that, wait for the crew to come back? Yeah, it's going to be miserable, but you will live. Let the, let the other crew come back and dig you out. Oh, now they're going to, yeah, now time to pray. <laughs> Because the cook is also a preacher, I guess. Uh, his name is Preach. Have you not? They've been calling him Preach Preacher this whole time. So, yes. It just bugs me. I don't think he's a real preacher. Yeah, no doubt. My guess is that he's just, is that he was probably just a cook. He was just over, like, one of those guys who's, like, super overly religious. And, Yeah. <laughs> Okay, how long? Let's see how long they can hold their breath for.
We're at like about 15 seconds now. This would actually work. The you know, the churning water of those and them and the bright color, yeah, that would get a shark's attention. So we're at we've got to be at like 30 seconds now. Okay, don't swim up with them. Put those like shove them over there so the sharks go over there and don't be with the dang thing. Now nah, we're gonna go up in the same direction as as the... yeah because yeah because what's gonna actually happen is the sharks gonna you know go after you because I can't these are sharks are okay this has got to be almost a minute now yeah. Look, again, these are supposedly Mako sharks, which are that they somehow made to get 30 feet long, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Your surf. Oh, wow. That's how did the facility get that fucked up? Because it was on fire. Okay. You're okay. Your surface. Get out of the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, he's been in. No, 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 no. I guess all Cool J does die. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you'd be <laughs> Okay, we saw the sharks you working together to rip people apart earlier, but this one this one's just going to leave them alone. Well, uh, the other two sharks are dead now, so there's no one to help it. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, the uh, both the other sharks are dead. <laughs> oh, look, he's like Oh, he's yeah, he's, he's actually doing something intelligent and fighting the fucking shark. He's fighting back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he would have died of blood. Oh, that would hurt. Ah, oh, God. My uh, eye. That, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. That'll do it. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the shark would come back for you, though. Help them, lady. <laughs> How did the facility get that fucked up? Seriously. Okay, he got he got bitten like up on his side, and they're strapping off his leg. What the fuck? Yeah, we're safe from the shark now. No, I'll give it this. This thing is going to obviously sink. It, yeah. But. Okay, hold on. What? So the so the fence was secured to the station and not the the ocean floor. This is so stupid. This makes sense. Why would this? Why would the fence be secured to the station? And not the ocean floor. Why would no? It have would make, again. It would make sense to secure it to the station, because. But why do they even have a fence above the water anyway? Who? What are they keeping I do, out? I, of this I, point? I do know mako sharks can jump. Okay, mako so back to what you were jump. saying. If the sharks can jump, why? Then you're right. They the the whole fences should have been titanium or strong yeah. enough. To hold the sharks to begin with. Yeah. If you're going to put cheap fence on top that the shark can get through and they can jump through it anyway. Yeah. This makes no sense. I, I, I don't need, I mean, I don't see why when they would secure the, I, number one, on, I don't see how the station itself is sinking. Yeah. Like what is the station secured to? Yeah. Because again, when you have a whole facility full of air and it's underwater, it's gonna. Things just don't work that way. 
No, no, this makes sense. Things full of air don't want to be underwater. They'd so it's got to be attached to something that's keeping it down. Yeah. Okay, so he's got an explo because he's got an explosive start. How did you hear how much dynamite he said he had on it? Not enough. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the look at the thing, the size of the thing he's, he's using. It's like it's like that. It's like the size of a pen. There's no way you would have enough explosive in that to kill a shark. At most, it'd be like a bottle rocket. What are you doing? Ouch. She's giving herself tetanus. God, why yeah, is she even so holding that? It's rusty as crap. What are you doing, lady? She's being bait to draw the shark to her. Okay, so she cut her hand so that the shark would smell the blood, even yeah, though guess. her blood, even though a shark, even though human blood, she's really, for the water to be blood red like that, there's no way she, there, she would have lost too much blood for that. And if you just need to get the shark to come to you, if you just need to distract the shark by using blood, just hold your hand over the water, let your blood drip down, that'll do it. <laughs> Again, sharks are not interested in human blood because humans are not their normal prey. And why did you even swim away the from the facility at all, you dumb lady? She didn't think this through at all. Yeah, no doubt. Wow. Wow. This facility is really crappy if, if that thing could just collapsed. What are you doing, dude? Why shoot the shark! Yeah, shoot what the shark, you idiot! I'm not. Yeah, she's dead now. I like how these sharks just like everybody gets ripped in half when they get attacked. Yeah, by no, yeah, everybody gets ripped in half, no matter what. It doesn't matter where you're bit. It doesn't matter how severe you're. You're gonna get ripped in half. Okay, so how do you survive? Who's gonna shoot the shark? I... Oh well, hold on. No fucking way. No. Mm. Number one, I don't think mako sharks have the jo the jaw that does that. Great whites do, but I don't think mako sharks do. LL Cool J to save the day. <laughs> hey, that rhymed. Okay. Why would the this shark really really triumphant going... music going on for this dude's uh shark surfing? Yeah, for this dude surfing on a shark. Yeah. I don't know. The shark should just go back to eating the fence. Yeah. The, okay, why would the shark surface at all? Why wouldn't it just stay underwater and let him eventually drown? Yeah, shoot it. And you hit the guy? What the fuck? That would be you my luck. Not gonna lie. Wow. Oh, but how? Which, I mean, first off, he was like, you know, his side was beside it. So thank God it hit him in the leg somehow. How has he not run out of line already? I have so many questions. Yeah. Well, how did it that much? Okay, if that, if, if that was... Number one, there's no way two, two, there's no way that much, because they had like a pen of explosive. There's no way that caused that much that's damage. And I think he said two and a half. Holy crap. I think I read in the, I think I read in the, in the subtitles that it was like two and a half sticks of dynamite. There's no way even that would cause that much explosive. And how the hell did you survive the pressure of that explosive in the water. 
You would be dead. You bring me some sushi. I'll shut up. <laughs> Yeah, you you would be dead from the pressure wave in the water. The pressure wave would have killed you, dude. Your organs would have been liquefied. So I like how, how his he leg just looks like from... he had. It looks like the harpoon just grazed him, and not the fact that yeah. it was in his fucking thigh. <laughs> How did it get out though? Did it like rip out of his thigh? In which case, I think so. Yeah, his fucking leg up, he'd be dying of blood loss. Probably. Yeah, you're sure there's only three sharks. And pulls <laughs> pulls his legs out of the water. Okay, that was funny. I'll give you that one, but this movie's so bad. Oh, look, the crew's coming back. Why the hell did... This is so stupid. Oh my god. Oh, and, and LL Cool J singing the song for the credits. Why not? Oh my god. Alan Ritchie? Seriously, dude? You, you're you better than this. Wow. The lyrics to the song are I'm not awful. listening. I'm not listening. I have it listening. on uh, subtitles. I have it on subtitles too, and I'm choosing not to read it. I have turned the movie off. That was can't shit. Help it. Deepest bluest. My hat is like a shark fin. All right, that's enough of this crap. Oh, thank God, Netflix agreed with me. That was horrible. Netflix was like, here, watch these previews for anime. No, no, fuck like that. Screw that. That movie was shit. That was awful. That was so much worse than I remembered. I'm so glad I wasted my Sunday doing that. Yeah, no fucking doubt. God. <laughs> I mean, because I, from what I remembered, I thought, oh, it was like a crappy B movie, you know? So it's not that bad. No. This was far worse than any crappy B movie I've ever seen. Wow. And that had a theatrical release, remember? I feel bad for anybody who spent money to see that on theaters. Damn, that is horrible. Oh, my gosh. Like I said, I think that was worse than Miami Connection, and I honestly don't remember Miami Connection because I was drinking. I feel like I need a drink after this movie. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna go to the gas station nearby and get a cup and get like a six pack because, wow, that was bad. That was really bad. Ah, uh, so that was Deep Blue Sea, everybody. We're not doing the sequels. No, I refuse. No, that is no way. Unless the sequels are somehow better, in which case, what the fuck? Yeah. How did that movie get sequels to begin with? Seriously. Who who sat down, watched that movie, and thought, yes, this, this, we need more of this? I don't know. Apparently right. the license plate they pulled out of the shark's mouth was the same plate they found in the shark carcass in the Jaws. So that's a fun fact. Oh, that's a nice little teaser. Screw you, movie. <laughs> I refuse to look up anything about this. It was so bad. And I... I mean, LL Cool J, you are too cool for that movie. Why? Samuel L. Jackson, you are too good for that movie. Damn. That movie was shit. 
And like I said, I saw Alan Ritchie's name attached to it. It's like, dude, you're better than that. Wow, that, that was bad. That was bad. So final thoughts on the movie before I turn the stream off? And then go regret everything and then go stare at myself in the mirror and contemplate my life choices? Jackson was initially offered the role played by LL Cool J, but his management team did not like the idea of him playing a chef. So they created the role of Russell Franklin for him. Also, LL Cool J's character was supposed to die early on, but they decided to keep him instead. Why are you looking up shit about this movie? I looked up the Wikipedia page. Why? I don't know. For fun facts. You're mascus. You just like they to couldn't hurt afford a fully trained parrot, so they had to use two parrots. One that was good at flying and another that could sit on his shoulder. <laughs> they wasted money on that! <laughs> they couldn't afford a real fully trained parrot! <laughs> Why did you waste money on that? You can't rid of the fucking parrot! This just keeps getting better. Oh, man. Oh, my God. There is no need to to buy two fucking parents when you can just cut it out of the movie. Apparently, in the original film, um, uh, what's her face, McAllister was supposed to live, but the test audience didn't like that ending because they saw her as the villain since she was the one that experimented on the sharks. They so thought yeah, she should so die. Yeah, she has to die. <laughs> so they reshot it. A month, less than a month before the movie was supposed to come out. Okay, hold on. How the hell could they afford reshoots yet not a fucking parrot? I don't know. Well, who was in charge of the budget on this movie? Because whoever it was, they deserve to be fired. Wow. If you can afford reshoots but not a fucking parrot, you, you have seriously misused your budget. And plus, it's like, how much does a fully trained parrot cost? A hundred dollars? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, that was... And you're just looking up this information, which just makes it even worse. That was awesome. The information or the movie? It performed well when it opened in July 30th, 1999. Was third... In the U.S. box office that weekend. Well, I can see why. Because he's got Samuel L. Jackson and LL Cool J. Two very popular names. I mean, if you were to just see those in the trailer, it'd be like, yeah, that looks like a good movie. And then they watch this movie and go, wow. Oh, my gosh. That was horrible. It's got I a think- 59% on Rotten Tomatoes. Well, I gave up on Rotten Tomatoes ever being a legitimate scoring site a long time ago, so... That's fair. (laughs) Oh, my God. That was horrible. I think that movie was worse than Batman vs. Superman, and I hate that movie, so... Yeah, there's another movie we could do, Batman vs. Superman, even though I really, really want that movie to die. (sighs) Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this I think this qualifies us as masochists because that was horrible. Good night, good night. (coughs) Yeah, but we didn't remember it.